How many times have you been here? Like five ish, five or six, and I'd say. It's still, is it still as nice every, every time? time? It's better, I swear. Yeah, you don't get tired of this. No, it's insane. We're blessed to be in a world full of opportunity, but a high percentage of us will never take advantage of it because fear stands in the way. Each of you has your own distinct list of fears, but instead of letting them push you away from opportunity, have you ever stopped to think about what you're running from and why you're running from it? Today, I'm taking one more step towards overcoming my fear of heights. For years, it has stopped me from doing so much, but as I become more aware of it, I learn that there are so many amazing experiences on the other side of that fear, just like this one. Are you ready? For what? To get on this bridge. Oh shit, it's right there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good luck. You wanna go ahead? Who are you? We're about to go onto the bridge and Will got so scared so he gave me the camera. He's spending some time gathering himself. This is the bridge. <laughs> yeah, it shakes. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy, easy there. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Why is it moving so much? Oh my god. Okay, okay. I think we have to go uphill on this thing after. I think we just go. Just... It's stable, eh? It's not gonna fall. This thing, how it long might. has it been around? It breaks every so often. Okay, it's good, it's good, good. This is a really nice spot to be in Vancouver. You may feel like you're falling to your death, but at least it's a nice view while you die. You wanna look over for a second? Like, get really close. You're not gonna fall. That was not acting. Why would you do that? These videos are just like a series of me uncomfortable. It's great. It's a I'm mindset. Cher, I'm Sharon. I've done this before. I've been here before. This is my city. And I'm Will. And it's a mindset. <laughs> He's kind of funny sometimes. Okay, now let's explore Capilano Suspension Bridge Park, an absolute must see when you visit Vancouver. <laughs> So once you pass the bridge, you can also walk up in the air on this skywalk. This is the most similar thing I've felt since I was in Singapore at the Marina Bay. And you're basically walking up on suspension bridges between trees in the air. Since it's January, they haven't taken the lights off from Christmas time, so everything is still lit up. And it's really, really beautiful with the yellow lights around the green trees. So the thing is, like, people mistake Capilano for the suspension bridge, but it's a suspension park. There's actually a lot more that you can do. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm very happy I'm, I'm here again looking at everything. It's really nice. How many times have you been here? Like five-ish, five or six, and I'd say. It's still, is it still as nice every, every time? Every time it's better, I swear. Yeah? You don't get tired of this. No, it's insane. Yeah. I'm a local Vancouverite. <laughs> It's a great day to be alive. Let's go, let's have a great week. So the final thing that you should do once you've finished going on the Capilano suspension bridge and walking around the Ridge Park is the cliff walk. It's a bridge that's suspended right off of the cliff. This is essentially what it looks like. Fun fact. The trees here can absorb up to 40% of the water from fog. How do you know that? That's a crazy fact. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm the best tour guide there is. Fun fact. The sign is there. That's not a sign that says that. No, you're right. <laughs> I'm just that smart. Oh, well. <laughs> Five minutes later. It's right there. Oh my God. I wrote that right now. Anyone? 
no matter what level of intelligence you have, can be successful in life. <laughs> I'm intelligent. It's a bad kind of compliment. I called you successful. Okay. Before Sharon and I were talking a little bit about like purpose and life and everything and before when we were speaking I felt a little down not sure about where I was going what my direction was but something as simple as actually being in this park and exploring and getting outside makes me feel a lot more confident about my future and about the power of the mind doing one little activity in your day that is new that you've never tried before or even something that's just out of your routine can spark that creativity and spark that confidence that you need to go out and do whatever it is that you love. It feels really nice to know that if I keep doing things like this, eventually I'll get to a certain point in my life that I've been dreaming about getting to. And that's a mindset. It's a fucking mindset. So when you first walk into the park, you get into the totem pole area where there are tons of totem poles. And if you saw my video on Stanley Park, you would know that I'm an insanely resourceful guide when it comes to totem poles. Each different totem pole actually has a different meaning. And how do I know this? Not because I'm so intelligent and such a great tour guide and so resourceful, but because there's actually a sign that says exactly what I just told you. Clearly, I know what I'm talking about. So here are some more totem poles all around. A lot of history here because Capilano is actually the chief of the Squamish tribe. Did you know that? No. Did you know that? No. They named this whole park and the river after the chief of the Squamish tribe. His name was Capilano, very famous. And how do you know all this? Oh, I read that on Wikipedia. <laughs> what do you, why? What's wrong with that? You try to be smart, you know? And that's what you get. Yeah. No, but seriously, to give you a brief history about the park, in 1888, a Scottish engineer named George Mackay purchased 6,000 acres of land, built a cabin on the edge of the canyon wall, and suspended a rope footbridge across that very canyon. Ever since it was built, the bridge has become a popular attraction to adventurers and has now built itself into a prominent location in Vancouver for tourism. in the treetop boardwalk and we are surrounded by trees that are 400 years old so there are some red cedars douglas firs and hemlocks so if you come to capilano one thing you have to do is see what kind of a tree you are sharon has the wingspan of a douglas fir tree what about me who am i looks like you're more the douglas fir to be honest <laughs> nope if you want to see a bunch of different kinds of trees and learn about their history and learn about different kind of owl species, then you can find some of that information here. Okay, well that was the intelligent thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> lessons. He needs some help. In all, this is not just a bridge. It's a full-on park with historical significance to the city of Vancouver and you absolutely owe it to yourself to come and visit whenever you're in Vancouver. A lot of people neglect this park because of its $40 price tag but trust me when I say this, the experience is well worth it. So with that, 
If you like this video and you want to see more Canadian experiences like this, and if you want Sharon to tour you, just kidding, she does not work at Capilano or Stanley <laughs> Park, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Oh,